Today, let's talk about the one thing that really attracted me to this Comet Pro. You see this? Video pass-through. I really, really like this feature and that is why I reached out to them and said, hey, can I try one? And of course, we got one. Been playing with this for about a week and a half. It's out of the box, been toying with it and all that kind of stuff. That I really like about this with the video pass-through being huge for us is so that way we can connect a monitor and see exactly and use the computer locally and remotely. Today, I'm gonna go over the specs and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use and also show you other features it has that no other device has. On the front, we have a touch screen, meaning we can touch it, swipe it side to side. A really easy to see screen and see from a distance nice large numbers for the IP address. The touch screen is very responsive. So when you swipe left or right, when you're on different menus and stuff like that, it's very responsive. It is made out of plastic, but it's not lightweight plastic. I mean, this device has got some decent weight into it. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a heat sink inside. I'll go over the specs in a couple minutes here. On the back, we can see that we have both HDMI ports. We have a five volt USB-C input right here. I'm gonna power mine with my portable battery that I have, which we plug in into here. We also have a USB-C to A port to plug into your computer for the keyboard and mouse, gigabit ethernet, and there's also a USB 2.0 port for add-on features. By add-on, I mean, a finger bot. I haven't opened this because I'm gonna do this on the actual video. As you can see, the tape isn't even removed off here, so I'm gonna do that in the video. But they sent me that too. If you don't have ethernet at your desk, or maybe you don't have a switch to split the ethernet because your main computer is using ethernet, this has Wi-Fi 6 in it. I'm gonna be trying that with you guys in the video also. Some specs. We have a quad core, I'm reading my notes. I have to, because I can't remember everything that this little guy does. That's too new to me, okay? We have a quad core A53 CPU, 32 gigs of eMMC storage, where you can upload files to it, like ISOs, so that way when you're rebooting the computer, you can mount an ISO to maybe refresh the computer, because maybe Windows died and you can't do anything with it, so you have to start from scratch. It has one gig of DDR3 memory, like I said, dual band Wi-Fi 6, 4K. Some that I've used before only have 1080p, but this one does 4K at 30 frames per second. Really good to have. And yes, the 4K is passed through. So 4K in, 4K out. Now, if you have only 1080p in and out, that will also work just fine too. Let's turn this thing on. Just so you guys know, in the box is everything to connect it even a little power adapter with some add-ons so that we can change your country plug. We're not gonna use this though. What we are gonna use is the cables that are in here. We have an HDMI cable, a little short one. Oh no, a flat ethernet cable. I don't use these, but it's included. Oh, a second HDMI cable. A USB-C power cable. This we are going to use. So, we are going to plug this in. And I already have the USB-C AB cable. It's plugged into my mini computer underneath the desk because it's easier to grab and plug in when I'm sitting at the desk. I am going to grab a Ethernet cable, my slim one, that is plugged into my network over there and power this thing up. So we have this, my, what is this thing, 12, I think it's a 12,000 amp hour battery pack. It's one that I use for all these little things. We're gonna use that to power this. So we'll add this guy. And we should see something come on the screen when we plug it in. Well, it looks like we have some stuff on the screen here. What do we got? Configure password, skip setup. I'm gonna skip the setup so we can get to the next screen. Okay. 
Skipping password setup will expose your device to security risks. You can configure it anytime in the settings, screen, display, options. Okay, got it. Skip setup. Uh, oh, that's pretty nice. My, this didn't happen to mine, so maybe when I was playing with mine, it updated this. Mine just went right to the IP address. It says configure Wi-Fi or configure Ethernet. I'm going to do Ethernet and then do the Wi-Fi in the screen. So we're going to go configure Ethernet. Plug the RM10S Ethernet port into the Ethernet connection. Okay. Continue. And we got an IP address right away. Nice. So 192.168.80.108. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into a spare laptop that I have. And then we're going to remote into it. Give me a moment here. All right. Got my battery. Got the GLNet, the comment. It's plugged into a spare laptop. It's running Windows. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to remote into that like it's a PC because that's what I have right now. So on the screen, it says 192.168.80.108. So in the browser here, 192.168.80.108. And we're at the screen. Connecting your device. So now we're at the set admin screen. Probably a good idea to set one. So I'm just going to do a temporary one. Apply. Of course, Bitwarden wants me to save it. We're not going to. And here we go. It's set up. So now let's just sign in. We can tell this is a bit fuzzy. So there's probably some settings right here. Oh, and it looks like there's another. Oh, no, it's up to date. Cool. Let's go settings. Uh, quality. Let's go ultra high because we got lots of bandwidth here. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Nice and clean and easy to see. Let's see what we get for speed test on here. Fast.com. I mean, I'm watching it out of the corner of my eye right here and it's like instant. It's like there's no delay there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we got speaker and microphone. That's good to have. Keyboard. Show virtual keyboard. Mouse. Oh, that's pretty sweet. What else do we got down here? Uh, device identity, English, color. Oh, can we go dark? Ooh, what happens if we go dark, guys? Ah, we get dark. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we got reset and we got ethernet. Now, I want to try Wi-Fi and see what happens here. Let's see here. We go modify. Oh. Sweet. Okay. Well, let's connect to my uh, lab network here. Let's go connect. Okay. It connected, but we have to do something. Since that's a different network, I'm going to change my network on here. Hold on. I'm going to unplug the Ethernet cable and let's see what happens here. It's connected to Wi-Fi. Let's see if we can ping it. And I like that I can just touch the screen and see the new IP address. What do we got? Ping 192.168.25.25. Two one one. It's online. That's good. Now we just have to refresh this because it's on a different IP address. So HTTPS one nine two dot one six eight dot twenty five dot two one one. Oh, that came up quick. Okay, let's proceed. We'll put in the password that I just set. Okay, let's see if there's much latency here. Let's try this again. I'm looking at the screen to see how slow things are responding. And it's like, it's like I'm right here, but I'm on Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, and it works good. So that's good, because if you're at a desk and it ha doesn't have ethernet, we could just throw Wi-Fi in there. Hopefully your experience is good as that because you got good Wi-Fi, but hey, I can't control that part. I wanted to see what the toolboxes are here. Okay. So I did notice. I'm going to try something here. Notepad. Please like and sub. Heh. Let's see what this does. Does it do it? Oh, it does it. That's sweet. I like that. So that's good for passwords, where if a field is not copying and pasting from here, you could put a password in that field and then paste it into a password box. I like that. We also have shortcuts down here. We got Control Alt Delete, Alt Shift L, Alt F4, Alt Tab. I like that. Now, 
We have virtual media, so we can add an ISO here. I'm not going to do that because I don't have anything on this computer. But you know what I want to look at? Apps. Ooh, tail scale. So we can set this to a VPN service. I'll go over a video with that. I play with that, set up an account. But I wanted to try the accessories. Now, let's have a look at this. Oh, of course I don't have anything to open the box on my desk. So inside the box, what do we get? Instructions. Connect. Access member benefits and stay updated on tutorials and beta tester recruit. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Need help scan QR code for video tutorials and user guides. I'm just gonna wing it. Whoa, this thing's tiny. What the heck? Oh, it smells like glue. Oh, cause it uses a piece of 3M, that's what I smell. Look at that, little tiny little finger that goes up and down. That's cool, I'm gonna hold on to this and try it. So we got the finger. And then in here, whoo, I think we have some kind of dongle maybe? Oh yeah, there's some stuff in here. So we got, I don't know what this is. Looks like some kind of piece to sit on. And some more rubber pads. And that's it. I thought this thing has a dongle to connect with. Oh, maybe it's inside here. How do we connect the dot, the dongle? Huh. Okay. Maybe we have to do the instructions here. Let's have a look. All right. Let's see what the instructions say. Press mode. Your app add on. Pull the tape out, removes the battery. Okay. Remove the front cover notch. Oh, I thought there was something in here. Aha. Meh. Oh, it's got a tiny little battery in there. Oh, this is the adapter that I was looking for. Okay, that's cool. And it says there's a little test button in here. Oh. You see that? Look at that. Let's see if we can get it in the light here, sorry. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like that. Okay, now that I've uh, figured that part out, let's see if we can put this together and then plug this adapter in. So it goes into the back side of our tool. All right, it's in there. Now let's see if it comes up in the accessories. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. I'm not going to tape it to a computer yet, but I'm going to show you it working here. Let's try this. Uh, upgrade? No. Press. Let's see what happens. Confirm? Oh, okay. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I am going to have to try this on my server downstairs. Hmm. I don't want to do it right now because it's on. But. It does work, that is pretty sweet. I like that it's got 3M tape because 3M is very sticky. Maybe if it's in a position where the power switch is on the front, you don't want this to come off. I like that. I wonder if there's a way they can make some kind of bracket that these can slide into and then put them on there so they could be removed easier because 3M tape sticks really, really, really good. Okay, so we have this. And it's got this little stand for laptops that it says it goes on that you can stick it onto to do for laptop stuff of like that. I might try that later, but I don't want to use the tape yet. Even though there's extras in the box, is what it is, okay? So, let's have a quick other look here. And it looks like we got options under the light press or firmly press, time. So, okay. So it looks like we have time for press. Hmm, eight seconds, three seconds, and five seconds. So what that means is down and then coming back within five seconds, it'll go down and go eight seconds. That you need to hold the power switch in to turn it off because it's frozen. That's exactly what that's for. Before we end the video here, don't forget there is a cloud service. I haven't set mine up, but in part two, I'll go over the finger bot and how to set up the cloud service. There is also some more security. 
Instead of just a password on the front, you guys can add 2FA by going up to the top right hand corner here, clicking the security button, and then setting up changing the bin password and enabling 2FA. If we enable the 2FA, we can set up a QR code and use, uh, I use Authy on my phone to do that. So when you come to the front loading page, it'll ask you for that 2FA code after you put in the password. Very secure so that way nobody can get into it if they had the password, which they should. All right, all right. That is my conclusion for this. I am gonna play some more with the finger bot and uh, test that out. I might actually take some more little quick videos and show you guys on my YouTube channel of that long press and turning off my server with no VMs running because I use stuff on there. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm pretty happy with this device when I was playing with it, just doing the basics. Now that I have the finger bot, that could be pretty sweet. Hopefully you guys are liked and subscribed and any questions, let me know. And um, I'm sure these are gonna fly off the shelf I know a couple guys that have these and they're really liking them too. So thanks for watching guys.